and we are live. Greetings everyone, I am Dr. J, and it's been a while since I've done something like this. It's been a relatively hectic holiday season for me. Went to, to see a bunch of family, and then as soon as I get back, it's right back to working on the Fire Emblem Three Houses video. And Honestly, I have been making significant progress on it, but it's been a bloody massive video to try and complete. I just two days ago broke the hour mark and I'm not even halfway through my script. Luckily at this point most of it is scripted out and I have most of the footage I need for all of it, so I'm hoping to at least get it done at some point in the next month or two, but still, it has been a lot of work and because of that I really haven't made much time for anything else when it comes to this channel or, well, pretty much anything on the main channel. But, whenever that gets done, in the meantime, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. That is not a name I've heard in a long time. I wasn't able to play any of the games, for reasons I can't quite remember. I can't remember if we even had the right systems for it, but apparently they're releasing a remake on the Switch over the next... at some point in the next... I want to say sometime in February, maybe March. I just only recently saw the news. So I saw that they had a demo for it, and since I have no direct experience with it, let's check it out. Hopefully I've set the audio up right. Also, please forgive any noise in the background. It's easier to run a space heater back here than it is to turn on the heat for the whole apartment. All right. And it looks like switch audio is a little high. Let's turn that down. Yeah, that should be fine. Alright, so it is a modern video game, good to know. Huh. Is this where all the animations are? Is this where all the animations went? Huh. I don't know what to think of the art style, actually. That's neat. Is this why they don't have all the Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and Shield? Wait, admire illustration? Is that literally what I just saw? Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon. Okay. Before I can let you through, I have several questions for you. Are you a boy or a girl? I want you to answer them sincerely. Well, now I definitely can't. Are you ready? No. <laughs> okay. Let the interview begin. You like to imagine things for your amusement. Um, that's an awfully... That's an awfully general question. Sure, why not? Do you fall asleep without noticing? No. Your friend fails to show up for a meeting at the promised time. What do you do? I try to be patient. Depends on how late. You sometimes run out of things to do all of a sudden. My problem is I've got too many things to do, it's just working up the motivation to do them. Your country's leader is in front of you. How do you speak to him or her? Oh, man, um... I try to not be political, so I guess I'll just go with whatever. Do you like to noisily enjoy yourself with others? Yep. A friend brought over something you'd forgotten. How do you thank your friend? What do you do with your room's light when you're going to bed at night? Why would I leave it on? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Do you want to play as a boy or a girl? Okay, that's a... That's an important distinction, actually. Well played, game. You've caught up to the rest of the universe. You appear to be... Oh, wait, this is how you choose the Pokémon that you start out as? The hardy type. Um... Wait, uh, I mean, this is targeted toward children, but what a homework. Strong willpower, um, arguable. Okay, that's fair. 
Okay, that's fair. What are you gonna make me? Eh, that's okay. I am apparently a Bulbasaur. I'm okay with that. You know what, this is the demo version, may as well. There are worse things. I don't know, I'd probably prefer Trico, but this is the final step. Who would you like to have as a partner? No other grass types, eh? Hmm, hard choices. Not sure. Yeah, let's go with Torchic. Sure, why not? Not gonna do anything too complicated. These two all right? So I guess I can... Well, I'm assuming on different... Actually, am I allowed to have more than one save? You know what's Pokemon, probably not. Eh, let's jump in with this anyway. It's the demo version. If I don't like it, I purge the save data anyway. I don't know how to make the art style yet. I don't know. I played a decent amount of my brother's version of S.H.I.E.L.D. while I was visiting family, so I got very much used to that art style. Where am I? Am I dreaming this? Feel a pleasant breeze. Definitely not home, then. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. And I wonder why I haven't woken my, well, opened my eyes yet. How many dots do we need? Hey. Hey, wake up. Wake up already. Oh good, you finally came too. Where is this? You were passed out here. I'm glad you woke up. I'm Torchic. Glad to meet you. So, who might you be? I haven't seen your face around here. Huh? You say you're a human? But any which way I look at you... You're a normal Bulbasaur. Oh, that's where all the animation budget went, into this remake. It happened one morning. We really are Franz Kafka now. Why? You're... Some kind of weird... So, what's your name? What do you call yourself? My name. I may as well put J in. What the heck? That is a very sensitive analog stick. Let's just use the D-pad. There we go. Uh-huh. J. That's... It's not even my real name, you jerk! And what might this be? Huh? Hey, you're shouting over there. A Butterfree? What's the matter? It's horrible. My Caterpie fell into a cavern. Wait, Jimmy fell down the well? Huge fissure opened in the ground and Jimmy fell down the well. He's too young to crawl up by himself, then... Oh dear. You are attacked by other Pokemon? You must be enraged by the fissure and are out of control. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. And we are? We're starter Pokemon. We're useless. You're a, you're a third evolution. What are you complaining about? Running animation is a bit mad, but... Okay, so... How's the control work? 
Could this be a mystery dungeon? It is! It's a mystery dungeon! A mystery dungeon is a truly mysterious place. Yes, very tautological. Thank you for the information. The layout and the items change every time you enter. You can proceed by using the stairs, but first we have to find the stairs. But you remember that Butterfree said Pokemon in the dungeon attack, right? If necessary, we gotta fight. We can do it, Jay. Alright, so... I can use either D-pad... Alright, so... <laughs> so I can effectively push Torchic along, hey? Although it looks like it'll be easier to use the D-pad. Alright, use a move with A. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that's interesting. So, it's not pure comp- So every move is a- So it is very much a turn-based dungeon crawler, then. Cool. That's a nice little touch. Anything over this way? Hmm. And there are the stairs. Yeah, let's go on. Alright, so I'm... Yellow team is green items. Alright, so there'll be items around. It looks like... Yeah, that looks like a Norinberry, so it's probably a healing item. Let's see. Enemy Pokemon Reds. Alright, cool. So what other shortcuts are there? I'm assuming I know more than just Sludge, right? Alright, so found some money. Good. Alright, heat an orange berry to restore some HP. Okay, so X is my menu, fair enough. Underfoot. What's the status bar? Okay, there's my whip. Okay, so there's what I can do. Alright, cool. So, but... So it's shown that I... Okay, so I still have power points. So, huh. So how do I use tackle then? Press L for auto mode? Oh, I see. Just in case I'm feeling incredibly freaking lazy. Alright, so there's the other duck. There's the stairwell down. Fair enough. I'm not sure to make the music, but... Alright, so now, if I just auto-mode, it should just run me to the stairs by itself. Go. Cool. That's a useful feature. Huh. It's already showing where the Pokemon are. Interesting. Go towards Chick. I have chosen wisely. Okay, so there's a Pokemon coming after us from that direction. Huh, so... Formation changes automatically? Yeah, you go face the Pidgey so I don't have to. Also, what's that number over there next to Bulbasaur? Well, next to me, I should say. That level four chick up or me? Huh, oh, me. Wow, that's a substantial increase. That's a very substantial increase. Oops. So wait. Oh, I see. So this is when I want to be more specific. Alright, cool. 
probably could have just used sludge given grass typing. I'll have to see what kind of typing this game's using. Getting hungry? Oh wait, is that a food meter? So this really is a turn-based game. Actual food meter. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, it is a roguelike. You will eventually die of starvation. Alright, here's the Caterpie. Where is Mommy? Well, we know where Mommy is, but... They came to rescue you! Huh? Your mom's waiting. Let's get you out. Okay. Alrighty. Yes, your baby is safe. Jimmy fell down the dungeon, but he's fine now. More elating? It's been a lot of quakes and fissures lately. It's dangerous. I'm glad your little guy's not hurt, honestly. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Torchic. And this is Jay. Why are you looking at us like that? Cool. He's, uh, staring at me adoringly. Those sparkly eyes, it's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad either, it's like I'm a hero! Blah blah blah, yeah yeah, self-congratulatory BS, I'm playing Fire Emblem all over again. I know it isn't really enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. Thank you so much. Goodbye! Hey, thanks for helping me out. You're pretty tough. I respect that. So, uh, what are you going to do? After this, I mean. Hmm. Say, Jay, if you don't have anywhere to stay, why don't you come with me? Maybe we can figure out what the heck happened. This is a weird gameplay conceit, isn't it? Well, this is the place. That does not seem like a place where a torch would live. That'd be an instinct thing. Uh, I have questions. I have so many questions. Oh, gee, I can tell you're impressed. I thought you'd like it. I figured you'd find this an easy place to live. Oh, okay, this is a place you set up for me? Hang on, this seems a bit... How did you get this place? Am I thinking too hard about a children's game? I probably th am I'm probably thinking too hard about a children's game. In fact, I was sure that you'd like it. This is your mailbox. This is where they get mail from other Pokemon. You don't say. You know that fissure Caterpie fell into? There have been other natural disasters like that all of a sudden. A lot of Pokémon out there are hurting from those disasters. I want to help Pokémon like that. I want to help make this a safer place for Pokémon, despite my lack of arms. And, uh... I think you're capable after seeing how you did rescuing Caterpie. Caterpie. How would you like to form a rescue team? I think we'd make the world's greatest rescue team. I'll find out what happens if I refuse later. Hell's that name? Okay, good. I've done my swearing. I can say this is not for children. Stupid YouTube. I mean, I was probably just gonna go with Dream Team because what the hell else would I call it? Yeah, sure, Dream Team. Why the hell not? Let's be equally cheesy. Let's see, is there a space bar? Hang on. Is is this gonna be? I get the feeling I don't need to add the team part. Wait. Do I have to add team? Maybe I should anyway. We'll be the dream team team. If it's if I'm wrong. It'll be hilarious. Hey, it actually fits too. It is fate! Cider 
wanted to wear this on the day I got started on the rescue team. I have two of them, so let's put them on. A scarf? Oh, what is that? Why are you wearing a bow tie? I know that's supposed to be a scarf, but given where your feathers are, it looks like a bow tie. But what is that? What? Why are you... Why is this a bow t Why is there a Torchic wearing a bow tie in front of me? What is this sorcery? I don't even want to know what mine looks like. Why does it look yellow? That does, that's not a color that matches a Bulbasaur. Rescue Team Dream Team. Yes. Oh, boy. Why is it yellow? What, are, did we just exchange colors or something? Actually, that's probably exactly what it is since... Well, I would consider orange more the primary color for Torchic. Well, shouldn't it be or an orange is red? And that is how. Jay and Torchic began their inexplicable nonsense. As a rescue team. We are the rescuers, apparently. Not the whole demo. The next morning. Still the same. The way I look. Still a Bulbasaur. But why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? I'm not a Kadabra or anything. Hmm. I don't understand this at all. Well, that's right. That Pokemon. I think it was Torchic? I don't know what Torchic's doing. I should go out. Okay, so now I've got more free roaming. Well, this ain't shield. I can't do pirouettes. Can I click on things? Click on things. Must investigate the everything. Or not. Wait, why are you just lying down? Asleep? Huh? Oh no! <laughs> Sorry. I was so excited I've been waiting out here since dawn. I guess I just fell asleep. Anyway, our rescue team officially begins. Let's do this right. So how do you be a rescue team? So, uh, we don't have any job offers yet. <laughs> You did just start out, buddy. Oh yeah, maybe there's something in the mailbox. Anything else, Captain Obvious? Wait, how did that? In how did that end up in there? Rescue team starter set. You always get one when you start a rescue team. Where does it come from? Who delivers this? I mean, I saw a Pelipper with some sort of um, sort of mail, but what is this? Issue of Pokemon news. Who prints that? How does that work? Am I thinking too much about the logic of a Pokemon game? I'm thinking too much of the logic of a Pokemon game. You are the rescue team, toolbox. Might have some fun. Alrighty then. Useful information just for rescuers. Let's see. My mail. Okay, so there isn't any mail for us after all. Um, I'd consider the badges. If there are any rescue jobs, we would be getting mailed, but... I guess no one knows because we just started this team. Yeah, THANK! Huh? What's up? Oh, hey, Pelipper. That was unceremonious. Maybe this is it. Jay, how about checking your mailbox? Hey, you checked it last time. Why do I have to check it? Maybe it's a rescue job request? You are way too excited about this. You really choked up about this, aren't you? Phil, this is great! Heard about you from Caterpie. Need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. I wonder what the buzzing was about. Must be a magneton. 
strange EM wave flowed through a dungeon, and it stuck Magnemite and Magnemite together. That isn't enough to form a magneton. It's not complete the way it is now. Please, we need help. What do you think? Should we go for it? That's what I want to hear. Let's do this right. Hmm, that's an odd name for a cave. Huh, more Magnemites. Friends are in the cavern. Alright, the sixth floor. Cool. What, are you worried about getting stuck together if you go in there? Alright, hold and press... Hold B and press a direction to dash. Whoa! That's a neat fast forward. Okay, that explains it. Whoa, that's powerful. It's speed to open your toolbox is quicker than going from the menu. Okay, who screen capped that Smash Bros. picture from Pikachu? I come on, that's basically Pikachu's taunt. I've seen it enough for my brother. Rude sir. Much faster healing than I'm used to for roguelikes, but then again. Is that a Voltorb? Yep, that's a Voltorb. Wait, how did you use two attacks in a row? I'm confused. How did you get in a move before. Ah, well, what do I know? If you face multiple enemies at once, retreat to a- Oh. Yeah, this is- Yep, this is a roguelike. Otherwise known as the ability to run away. For every one move you make in a dungeon, your opponents will also make a move. On the other hand, if you don't move at all, neither will your opponent. Alright, yep. I know how roguelikes work. Huh. That was a nice range attack, actually. Did it just randomly decide between Seed Bomb and Vine Whip? Huh. Wonder why. Or I can just use the thumbstick. Alright, let's see. Yep. Progress. If you're in a dungeon and fail your adventure, you'll lose all the items and money you're carrying. And what's this here? If you step on a wonder tile in a dungeon, your lowered stats will return to normal. But if your stats have been boosted, they'll also return to normal, so watch out. Damn, that's a long range attack. Glad I've got Torchix Ember. Nice. So I'm guessing that the Pokemon we ran into were intended to apply status effects. You move sometimes power up as you use them. Move gauge changes from... Oh, I see. Okay, it took me a while to see where it was changing. But it's full to move the power up. So we're gonna be... Okay, so it's... Alright, I see. It's next to the name. Alright. Change the leader by... Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, wait. Torchic knows low kick? 
I mean, you do become fighting later, but I didn't think Torchic learned... I don't remember Torchic learning low kick that quickly. Alright, hang on. Alright, let's run around with Torchic for a little bit. Probably safer given the Nidoran ran we're running into. Okay, so we got enemies coming this way. Pelican. Easily dealt with. I got the feeling eventually we won't have everything just laid out for us, so. like different gauges go down. So Torchic's gauge is going down instead of Bulbasaur's. Huh. Not how I expected that to work, but... Alright, have to learn Leech Seed. Alright. I don't know. Enemies really haven't been surviving long enough for me to worry about Leech Seed. Try it out later. Huh. Okay, so I can do moves pretty much any time. And it looks like enemies constantly spawn, as is customary for roguelikes. Well, I guess Dungeon Crawler would probably be more accurate, but you get my point. Assuming typing still works the way it's supposed to. Oh, nice. Go Bulbasaur. Or go me, I should say. There we go. Bulbasaur goes and grabs this. I grab this. Of course, there's something we missed all the way back over there. Eh, no matter. Okay, so that's only to traverse long corridors. Makes sense. Thank you, me. Just press A without there being any Pokemon around. Interesting. Okay, so I can't do it at any time. It just stops when I start to enter a new room. Makes sense. Oh hey, there they are. Let's get them out. Bonnie's separated! Rejoice! Yay! Yay! Be thankful, you two. Oh, nice. I mean, would it really have been so bad if they had been turned into Magneton? Really? Binding by that Pokemon Evolution rule now. Alright. Boy, I'm sure glad our rescue went well today. I have to admit, since that was our first job as a rescue team, I was really nervous. I'm wiped out. I'll go home and get some sleep. Let's do this again tomorrow. See ya! Am I gonna get to wander around at all? Or... Is something gonna happen? Hmm. 
Where am I? Maybe... Is this a dream? Oh? There's someone here. Who is it? Someone I know? I can't remember. This is where the game... Well, this is where the demo ends, isn't it? Gotta keep us in suspense, don't ya? No male seeking help from the rescue team. Morning, Jay! You're up early! Oh, you checked the mailbox, did you? So, what's the word? Were there any rescue jobs for us? Huh? There's nothing? Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. After all, we only just started up. Well, no point moking. Moking? What am I saying? Let's go check Pokemon Square. Moping! Yeah. Should have liked to work on your fire on the review. I think there will be jobs posted at the Pelipper Post Office. Say that five times fast. Pokemon Square is over this way. Let's go. This is Pokemon Square. Is that a shiny Kecleon? This is the- that's the Kecleon shop. You can buy and sell items there. That's Felicity Bank. And of course it's being run by a Persian. Why is there a gulpin? Link moves? What's that supposed to mean? What's linking? Well, if you link moves, you can use them together at the same time. If you need details, you're better off asking Gilpin. Can we get? That's the Kangaskhan storage. Store items here so they'll never be lost. If you have important items, store them before you head out to a dungeon. Alright. And the Makuhita Dojo is over there. Practice various moves used in dungeons. Eight. Shops are useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, there's also the Pelipper Post Office. It's straight ahead past here. Sure you can get information on rescue jobs there. So, let's start with the visit to the Pelipper Post Office. How many times are you gonna make me say Pelipper Post Office? version. Okay, so of course the shiny one has the TMs. Oh, wow. Those are powerful TMs. And then you probably have the normal items, right? Yep. So wait, you're sh showing that to Ether multiple times. Is that just... Is that because I can only buy a limited number of items before diving in? Might be. Alright, probably don't need all of these. I feel like this is going to get repetitive for after a while. Then again, I don't intend on losing, but still. Whoops. Didn't mean to store all my A Max Ethers. I wanted to keep one around.
There we go. Right, I'm not going to worry about this yet. Probably won't need to for the sake of the demo. Developer post office. How many times are we going to say Pellet for Post Office? How do I check out the Pellet for Post Office? Oh, it's still this way. And of course, it's near the water. Board. What are the accepted jobs? Okay. Hmm. If I go in a rescue, choose the job, and then go to the dungeons that's indicated. Head to the dungeons from the path near the base. Where do you live, Torchic? For the time being, we should just stick with the jobs posted here. Our team will become known after we do some rescues. I'll bet we'll get job offers in our mailbox soon. Scum! run animation. Quality animations! Wish, oh, the Wishcast pawn. This is gonna be only available in the full version, huh? Alrighty then. I thought Wishcast were bigger than that. No matter. Anything down this way? Oh yeah, the Makuhita Dojo. Alright. Anything this? Nope. Alright, so this is purely the hub area. That road leads to the dungeons. Wait, I thought fissures were opening up everywhere at random. That seems awfully discreet. Once we take a job, let's go to the dungeon and clear up the Pokémon's worries. It's this way. Rescue team camps? No dungeon- oh, you scum! Hang in these bushes? No. Just making the camera freak out a little bit. Sparkles around the dungeon name. That's a sign you'll get a lot of stuff. You know, almost twice the normal amount of money and a lot of hmm, treasure boxes. Alright, so there are three tucked away within Underwave Cave, but only one within here. Well, I guess this one has potentially a lot of treasure, so we'll go here first. Oh, wow. No execute. Please stop. That was soft quickly. Oh, huh, so that's a treasure box. Okay. So I gotta open it up once I get back. But... Okay, so whenever there's a fork. Makes sense. Hello, Execute. Something tells me this is gonna get grindy after a while. Oh 
wait, I have to actually be facing the Pokemon for that to work, don't I? No matter. This floor Plusle is waiting for a cherry berry to be delivered. Is there a cherry berry around here? Actually, I don't have a cherry berry on me, do I? Cherry bear. Oh, hey, here's one. Now we just gotta go over to the. I think it's mining? No, it's plus. It's been a while since I've played Gen 3. It is plus. Get the right buttons. And pay attention to which buttons are being pressed. Oh, cool, a dojo chicken. We'll have to see what that does. And it looks like those items get sent to storage there. Alright, so what's the reward? Alright, what's actually written? Duh. We did good today. Let's knock it. Let's knock off and call it a night. See you tomorrow. Next morning. Morning, Jay. Let's keep up our good work today. And there are those fishers you're talking about. What's causing them? Groudon? Diglet? Er, um, where am I? Hey, what's up? Oh my, my apologies. My name is Diglet. I was having a blast digging tunnels in front of the Pelipper Post Office. So much so that I kept on digging and ended up here. I'm sorry I ruined your nice place. <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's just a hole. Are you saying you will forgive me? Just go easy on the digging. You don't want to wreak havoc with too many holes. Of course. Thank you. From now on, I'll have fun digging, but I want to make sure to patch up the holes from time to time. Goodbye. Can we go into the holes? Don't even give me time to look at the mill that's already there, you twerp. Oh, hey. That's useful. to a rescue team. Hmm. Alright, fair enough. Uh, dojo tickets, you can train at the Makahita Dojo. Let's grow more, th more than the... Wait, at the Makahita Dungeon, your moves... Wait, your moves grow more than they do in dungeons, especially if you keep on hitting the same foe with super effective moves. You can expect to grow a lot. You can also learn the controls of the dojo for free. Hmm. Oh yeah, they did say that moves can improve. And extra dojo tickets. I guess I'm gonna have to check that out now. Read your Pokemon news. If you don't read your Pokemon news, your mailbox will get full and you won't get the latest issue of the news or any job mail. Sometimes Pokemon news comes with a gift, so make sure to read it often. You're gonna force me to read it then, ain't ya? 
Ah, well, no matter. So, I've got the jobs in the Thunderwave Thunder cave. Apparently, I can't speak today. But, I guess I'll go check out the dojo real quick and see how that works. Yes, it is. You need to give me a dojo ticket. The better the ticket you use, the more effective the drills will be. Well, I've only got do bronze ones, so let's... Let's try it on Torchic. Take on the fire maze. What's this involve? Is this something I participate in, or...? Alright, defeat the enemies within the time limit. You can get a lot of experience and use a super effective move. Don't sweat the small stuff in dojo drills, just go for it. There are no special rules, so you'll walk super fast, and you can revive as much as you need to, even if you don't have a reviver seed. Use auto mode to head for those enemies and get a ton of experience. Works for me. Oh hey, Mawile! I know how to deal with you. When you encounter enemy Pokemon in auto mode, auto mode will end. Alright. I really should have seen that coming. Stop string shouting me! Caesar? What are Caesar doing in here? Okay, so I can pass. So I can pass time by using A just whenever I feel like. Ow! Alright, didn't get most of them, but that's okay. Actually, I got most of them. I think. No matter. Oh, wow! That's impressive. All over, nice work. Yeah, I think that's it for now. See, so we've got those three other jobs that we picked up at the plane. Oh no, my brother's in chat. I wondered who was watching. I didn't know you kept an eye on this channel. What, did you notice I wasn't paying attention to you in Discord? <laughs> Alright then, uh... Thunderwave K. Alright, the client delegate is with you. I'm assuming I can't just... Well, I guess we'll see. Oh, nice! Okay, I'm trying to remember what all I need to do for tasks in here. Yeah, well, this is what I get for getting in a hurry, I suppose. Take that, sucker. Also, brother, while you're here, I need you to explain, why does Torchic have a green bow tie? I know it's supposed to be a bandana, but it, it looks like a bow tie because of the way Torchic's feathers are set up. I need someone to explain to me why Torchic has a bow tie. I mean, it's adorable, but I need you to explain this to, for me. Although it might take a while for you to catch up with me since the, there's a bit of a latency on this. Honestly, it probably almost... Actually, I'm not really set up to run Discord anyways, but... Man, this place is a maze! Alright. There we are. And Ember takes care of that. Alright, arriving at the floor where Wormple is. Bring the kid to Wormple's side. You jerk! Alright, Elekid and Wormple are reunited. That was the job? Okay. I think it might be related to gender or something. Honestly, my best guess is because Bulbasaur is green. But it's hard to tell. Start with fire type Pokemon had it as a bandana tied around its head feathers. 
Interesting. There is a request beyond this point, but would you like to escape from the dungeon? Nope, let's keep going. But I'm thinking my working theory right now is you can see that Bulbasaur's scarf is yellow. I would have thought orange would make more sense, but given that Bulbasaur's green and Torchic's yellow, that might be the reasoning. I don't know, it's hard to tell. It could just be so that we're a matching pair, but it's hard to, t it's hard to say. And before you ask, brother, this is what the game gave me. Apparently, you're allowed to select which Pokémon you want to be, but they give you a small questionnaire to basically... quiz you to see which personality would match best. I'm not sure I fully agree with it, but it's amusing, if nothing else. Alright, let's go ahead and take this Pokémon out, and then we can move on. Torchic, no. I haven't been using Torchic in the lead very much. Let's see, lowers enemy accuracy. I don't know, I feel like the moves that he's got right now are better. Actually, is there anything over this way? I'm pretty sure it shows you... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, Torchic's taking care of that enemy for me. I can play Simitris. That explains why I never got Pichu on the Pikachu on the original game's website. Wait, what do you mean never got Pikachu on the original game's website? Oh, I it, you must have done the questionnaire on the main website then? Yeah, you can send images to me via Discord. Yeah, I know that this was a this is technically a remake. But as far as I can tell, this is the only game that's gonna be released of this bunch, so I'm assuming it's got everything bundled together and you can mix and mix and match who you want the Pokémon and your partner to be. I'm assuming you'll get other Pokémon as well that can join you. Honest, you know what, it's a Pokémon game. That's a basic assumption of literally everything. Alright, Wurmple. Hello. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, there was another job I needed to do. We'll see you at the Pelipper Post Office later. Alright, let's keep going. Yep, I see it. Why is this Ella kid running away from me? Get back here! Get dumped. Oh hey, plus it. You will die. Well, brother, as far as I can tell, it's still remaining to the original Pokémon that were in the game. So as far as I can tell, it's only Gen 3. I don't know, I think in the trailer I saw a Lucario. But that could have easily just been a preview for Diamond and Pearl. I can't quite recall when this game came out. Oh shoot! I might actually need to deal with that. Um, actually the easiest way would probably be if I just swapped out the leader, right? Then I can ignore that for the time being. That way I don't have to burn apples. Because, honestly, a lot of the mechanics really remind me of a roguelike, so... It's been interesting thus far, I'll admit. I probably shouldn't say that because now you're gonna say, Hey, let's review this! Oh, I've got too many things to do better. Ah, oh, well. Alright. Oh, I see where the dungeon exit is. Let's go. Let me go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Controls are a bit wonky when you try to use the fast forward, but... Eh. Alright, the floor where Puchiana is. Well, that should be easy to sort out. And low kick. Nice. Hello, Puchiana. Alright. Yeah, I do have apples, brother. That's how you rejuvenate that... I can't- well, that thing that started damaging me. You've basically got- well, I've got some in my inventory. I was just taking the lazy route. And 
And of course, I'm talking to chat instead of paying attention. All right, so pretty sure that's the last job we have, so let's go ahead and leave. It's Scape. All right, I'll protect, cool. And then this job, just for the Wormhole. And then, go! Alright. Why do I have a yellow bandana? Why am I a lazy, lazy leaf brother for not going all the way into the middle of the dungeon? Well, all the way to the end of it? Again? Am I dreaming again? No. You're high on your own shrooms. Well, high on your own weed. Yeah, that works a lot better. It's that Pokemon again. What Pokemon again? I don't see anything. They're talking to me? I can't hear them clearly. What are they saying? An earthquake. For a dream, this feels strangely real, but... <laughs> really, brother? You, you know the original line is, here's Johnny, right? Never mind. Next morning. Let me guess, that quake was real. Uh, hello? Who's there? Is it my imagination? Hello? Uh, you are Jay, aren't you? Is Dickbit gonna burst out of the ground? Oh, you can't see us, of course. How very rude of us. Oh, a Doug Trio. We're pleased to meet you. We are Doug Trio. Last night during the earthquake, our child Diglett was attacked. What? Diglett? It was whisked away to the peak of a tall mountain. We couldn't possibly climb somewhere so high. That is why we must call upon you for help, Jay. So we are going to burst through your floor because that will totally make us more- make you more willing to trust us, clearly. And being abducted by a Skarmori. Vile- vilely vicious ruffian. Okay. Alright, alright, just when I think I reach a stopping point, something else comes in to throw a wrench into everything. No time to even say no. Alright. Torchic gets gonna be very confused when he stops by. There you are. Morning. Hmm. Huh? Someone just asked you to go out on a rescue? Yes. Whoa! Our child Diglett was kidnapped! It was taken to Mount Steel Summit. Please, we need your help. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, that was silly. Okay, fair enough, brother. That's why you did it. <laughs> all right, all right, I will accept it. Diglett was the Pokemon digging holes here earlier, right? The kidnapping is worrisome. Guess we better go. And there's where it ends, of course, because screw you. There. Now you can definitely say this isn't kid-friendly. Do I need to start you dropping F-bombs too, just to be sure, YouTube? <laughs> you can look around town freely, go to the main menu, choose other from the menu, and then... S Alrighty, so... That is the trial version, but... Yeah. Alrighty, that's... Hmm. Very interesting. Because I hadn't really research too much into Mystery Dungeon when it initially came out. Because, honestly, brother, you probably know better than I do. Actually, wait, you gave me the box cover a while back. Oh, wow, it was a JBA game? Why did we never get it? I don't know. It might not have just been a priority for us, given the circumstances, given that we were so focused on pretty much everything else, but eh, what can you do? Still, I don't know. It's been in... It's an interesting game. I'll definitely need to check this out once it releases. I'm still hard to the paint on my Fire Emblem review, and I don't anticipate that to be out for another... God, how long is it gonna take me to finish it? I mean, I did just say that I broke the hour mark a couple days ago on the video portion, but I've still got a metric ton of audio to record for the gameplay section, and I'm not even halfway through my script, I'm pretty sure, within what I have finished, so... I really don't know how long it's going to take before I can work on- well, before I can even think about looking at this game, e let alone review it. 
Still, in terms of Pokemon stuff, I'm thinking after I'm done with Fire Emblem, I'll probably do something other than Nintendo stuff for a while. I'm thinking maybe Final Fantasy VII, but after that, I'll probably dive into Pokemon Sword and Shield. Because, I think you saw over here, I did absolutely play it. Hey, Pokemon Shield, and I think I might still have my screen cap somewhere to show that I completed the game. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Because this is after capturing... This is after I managed to capture the Fox Legendary, so I was able to beat the game while I was visiting family over the holidays. So, I've played S.H.I.E.L.D., and since I'm planning on getting Sword relatively soon, maybe within the next week, it should be... Well, I should be able to review it, since it'll just be a game that I can mill about with just on my free time if I'm listening to a podcast. So, honestly, I'm not terribly worried about having stuff to do for a while or having games ready to review. It's just a matter of finishing this behemoth right here because, my God, it is taking forever and a half. But now that I'm done distracting myself with this live stream and having a grand old time and talking to the chat, which mostly consists of just my brother, but, hey, at least someone's watching, right? Hi, brother! Anyway, so now that that's over with, I think I'm pretty much good to go. My voice is definitely not in a good shape to record anything, but at least this gives me an opportunity to jump back in and work on the video portion. And I don't know, we shall see. We shall see. So the specialist wait, there was an actual special associated with it? What do you mean by special, brother? Uh let me see. Oh, as in an actual anime thing? I'll have to check that out once I'm off stream. So either way, for now. And then, yep, the blue version. All right then. So, I think that covers everything important, so. Short version of all this rambling. I may eventually see to Mystery Dungeon, but if I do, it'll be after I'm done with Fire Emblem Three Houses, which should be done within the next month or two. It will be after I look at Sword and Shield and maybe a couple of other games, depending on the circumstances. Then I might find time for it. Although, given that it's likely to be a shorter game. Oh, I don't know. It's still very much up in the air. I'm still very much hard to the paint on Fire Emblem Three Houses right now. So once that's finished, we'll talk. But for now, I think that's all I've really got to say for now. Thank you all f for watching, and I'll see you all later.